Yo, what's up YouTube? What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me here. We're back here. We're going to be checking out some Gordon Lightfoot for the first time. Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. This one was requested. I made a community post a couple weeks back maybe and I was saying, hey, let me know some of the saddest songs that you guys think I should react to because I really have a connection with some sad music, sad songs. Man, I love, I love listening to them. You know, it's just part of me. Um, so this one was suggested. I looked into a little bit of the history because I was like, the wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald sounds like not just a typical name. It sounds like a real occurrence. And sure enough, it was. I had never heard of this, guys. Uh, so this apparently took place in 1975 in Lake Superior. I guess the wreckage was found. Um, the ship, the vessel had been snapped in half. Um, and to my understanding, and this is brief reading, guys, I'm talking, I took seconds to read this, that the bodies weren't ever found. I think it was like 29 crew members, okay? So I don't know if that, what I read, is true to this day or if it was just true at a certain time. But apparently this wreckage was found. No bodies ever recovered. That's crazy. So if you guys want to expand on this story in the comment sections, please do. I'd love to read more about it, guys. But I... I only take a couple seconds to research a song before I react to it uh, because I try to react to multiple songs in one day. So, yeah, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead, hop into this, see what's happening. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. The lake never gives up her dead. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Mm. The acoustic with the electrical uh, guitar on top, pretty nice. The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November come stealing mm. The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind mm. Yo, the music, the music's on point, man When supper time came, the old cook came on deck Saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya oh. The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril And later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Man Great storytelling. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they'd put 15 more miles behind her. 
They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke deep and took water And all that remains is the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron Roll Superior sings In the rooms of her ice water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners all know the gales of November remembered Dang In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed in the maritime sailor Cathedral. The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times for each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald. 29 times. And the legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Yeah, okay. So, it sounds almost like this uh, Lake Superior is known for taking the souls, the bodies of mariners. Uh, it sounds like it has a history of this to have a saying, as in Lake Superior never gives up her dead. Man, that's that's a scary sound, right? And I I respect water, man. I'm scared of water personally. I was in the Navy, okay? I was in the Navy. Um, and I seen points where we would be out in stormy weather and the whole bow of your ship just gets swallowed by water. You know, I mean you see it disappear under the water and break back up. And that is uh that that is it's an awakening moment to just see how massive our ocean is and how relentless it is and unforgiving it is, man. It will, you know, you need to respect the ocean. You need to respect water. I'm even <laughs> afraid sometimes at the beach because undertoes, you know, I mean, you could be having a blast one minute and get sucked out the other. It's scary stuff, man. Um, people get torn up by sharks, whatnot. I, it, I don't mess with water. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't play no games with that. But, you know, these people are out there just trying to make a living. Um, and it, so one thing I didn't see was what happened to the ship that made it, um, <clears throat> I don't know, you know, snap in two, capsize, whatever. Was it the weather? It sounded like he said, it sounded like he was re referencing hurricane winds, but not necessarily saying they were in a hurricane. Um, and I don't know much about Lake Superior myself. It sounds like it's an icy place. Um, so, you know, I don't know if it was a situation with them breaking the ship on some ice or whatnot so if you guys want to clear some of that up you know feel free to let me know that that'd be appreciated very much um but yeah i i kind of feel bad too thinking about the family members as he mentioned is all that's left of them but i had to think man when this song came out that kind of had to open up some old wounds as well having to hear this song because you know if you're related to these people any of those 29 uh sailors who passed away due to this um you're probably listening to this song when it came out, right? You probably want to hear what was said. And it, man, that had to hurt again. Like, dang, really rough, you know, really rough stuff right there. But hey, he, he did a great job with the storytelling. I heard there were some liberties taken in this song with some of the verbiage that was used because there were still very, um, there wasn't the full details, the full explanation of what had happened by the time this song came out was briefly what I had read. So maybe there were things said in this song that weren't true to the real story at 
that that ended up being found investigated and saying hey this is exactly what happened so i don't know let me know what you guys know or, or whatever and i'll be reading okay i'll catch you on the next one if y'all enjoyed this one please don't forget like subscribe check out the description and i'll catch y'all then all right peace